Yes, the big news coming in. Bhupendra Patel, now the new Chief Minister of Gujarat, is all set to take oath as the next Chief Minister of Gujarat tomorrow at 2 p.m. This is the schedule that's been decided. 2 p.m. is when the oath taking ceremony will take place. Patel's cabinet minister is also to take oath in two days after that. Now, of course, all eyes are set on the cabinet expansion or a rejig that might just happen. The names that will be added, the names that will be dropped, a keenly observed. Uh, in fact, a decision that Bhupendra Patel himself will have to make considering that he's now the Chief Minister of Gujarat. All responsibility falls on him to ensure a stable cabinet without any dissent. Here is Bhupendra Patel who's been chosen as the man to be leading the BJP to 2022 polls. Bhupendra Patel to take oath as the Chief Minister tomorrow at 2 p.m. Let me cut across Vidya joining us along with Rahul Shivasta for more on that. Vidya, here 2 p.m. is the time that's been given as the oath-taking uh, ceremony that would take place at 2 p.m. What do we know about the cabinet expansion which will take place two days after? Well, there certainly will be a cabinet expansion. And remember, because we already have a Chief Minister who is a Patidar. So rest of the cabinet will not really consist only of Patidars, but, but a fair representation of others as well. I'm joined by Kiran Tare. Let's speak to him. Kiran, uh, what do you really join, think you know, about the other uh, people who will be there? will be a cabinet expansion. Do you think there will be a fair representation of other uh, castes as well? Or will it be more of Patidar itself? See, the Chief Minister's post is being represented by a Patidar. So it's quite obvious that the other caste will get an equal representation. My information is that the Koli community, the Thakors, which are a major OBC chunk in Gujarat, and some tribals are going to be inducted in the cabinet tomorrow. And there will be two de deputy CMs. Who there, could there is be? a talk that there will be two de deputy chief ministers. One will be from OBC, mostly from a Thakur community, and the other one will be for a tribal community. Ganpat, uh, I think Ganpat Vasawa, Ganpat Vasawa has been the name. Is the name has been finalized? Okay. That is what the sources are saying. Okay. But, but what about uh, this? You know, uh, the expansion has to happen. But by when? When do we really see uh, more more of these people coming? In? Yeah. Tomorrow only the chief. Uh... No, this is this is very interesting point. I was talking to a source of mine here in BJP Gujarat BJP, and he told me a very interesting anecdote. He said that when Anandiben Patel was the chief minister, and Amit Shah was here in Mumbai, in uh, Andhavad, working in Andhavad as an MLA. Their constituencies were adjacent. Anandiben Patel used to represent Ghat Lodia and uh, Amisha Navaranpura. They are the adjoining co constituencies. This time, the CM is also representing Ghat Lodia, which, is, which was originally Anandiben constituency. And the Navaranpura constituency is represented by Kaushik Patel. And Kaushik Patel who is the person who has been minister throughout the BJP rule. Okay. So one of the senior most ministers, Kaushik Patel and uh, Chudasama. So, ko my sources are saying that Koshik Patel may not be inducted in the cabinet because the adjoining constituencies can't have a bigger representation. Okay. He was a revenue minister in the outgoing ministry, ongoing, ongoing uh, ministry under Vijay Rupani. But if Koshik Patel is not inducted, that will be a big blow to Amit Shah. We will have to look, we will have to watch for uh, what is the state of uh, Bhupendra Patel. If he's not inducting Koshik Patel, that's a first sign of rift between Anand Ben and Amit Shah in Gujarat BJP. Okay, so there you have Kiran Tare explicitly saying that uh, the entire cabinet expansion is something that really have to be wa uh, will have to be washed out, uh, especially with the fact that uh, caste politics will certainly decide as to who will be in the cabinet. He is at the uh, in, Dada Bhagwan temple currently really seeking blessings of the Lord. That's the live visuals that we get of Bhupendra Patel right after he was announced as the Chief Minister of Gujarat. He met with the Governor and he's now out there at a temple. He's seeking blessings. This is a big responsibility that's now been, uh, you know, uh, given to Bhupendra Patel considering he barely has about a year's time and he's uh, got all that responsibility to turn around the BJP's prospects ahead of the 2022 polls. This comes at a time when remember in 2017 assembly elections the BJP did not fare as well as in 2014. Uh, here anti-incumbency could be a factor that Bhupendra Patel will have to face right now along with of course the COVID crisis uh, that uh, Vijay Rupani wasn't really famous for handling well. Here, he takes forward the BJP to 2022 polls. 
Uh, the prospects, of course, uh, look bright considering the BJP has governed for at least 27 years in Gujarat. Here is Bhupendra Patel all set to take the legacy forward. And he's been given the responsibility being the first time MLA in his constituency. He's a close aide, a, a very close confidant of Anandi Ben, who is a former chief minister of Gujarat. Uh, this comes right at a time when Gujarat faces some kind of anti-incumbency after 27 years of rule in the state. Let me cut across to uh, Vidya. Vidya, we're looking at visuals coming in of Bupendra Patel at uh, a temple. He's seeking blessings. Um, he seems to be quite excited, very happy there. A man uh, who's been given the opportunity, really big shoes for him to fill in, of the chief minister just being a one-time MLA. He's been elevated to such a top post. All right, Rahul Srivastav joining us as well. Rahul, here are visuals coming in of Bhupendra Patel at temples. He is now temple hopping, seeking blessings. He has a, a good number of people following him now. The most popular face, it appears, uh, within Gujarat today. Yes, Nabila, this is a common practice uh, among practicing Hindus and others also that they visit uh, the, uh, whom they worship when a big moment arrives. And of course, that 2 p.m. swearing-in ceremony has also been decided after uh, referring to the stars and constellation to see what's the best time. But will that mean good for just Mr. Bhupen Patel and a term as Chief Minister of Gujarat? Or will it really lead to a turnaround for the BJP for betterment compared to 2017? Is, is perhaps the task that he is expected to perform uh, in the next one year, which is really a short period, given the fact that there is a lot of anti-incumbency. Any political party generates it uh, after being in power for over 25 years. Uh, you see what happened to the CPM in West Bengal. That's another uh, uh, story. Say Chhattisgarh, after 15 years, Raman Singh had to go out. I think one of the stellar example of having survived uh, anti-incumbency is Naveen Patnaik in Odisha who is just going on and on and could well become the longest serving chief ministers uh, in the country. The fact is that the BJP expects so much from uh, Mr. Bhupendra Patel is also a sign that he is not going to be alone as far as uh, reshaping and reinvigorating the BJP's fortunes in the state of concern. We are going to see a lot of center Narendra Modi and his government as far as the future is concerned. There is going to be a lot of policy sources are saying that Gujarat is going to be one of the big focuses apart from Uttar Pradesh in the coming days for the BJP and Prime Minister Narendra Modi. For the Prime Minister, it's a very, very critical battle. In 2014, he contested from two states, uh, UP and uh, Gujarat, but eventually chose Uttar Pradesh. Given the kind of significance UP has as far as the Lok Sabha is concerned, but he never went off Uttar Pradesh, off Gujarat. He continued that son of the soil, soil association with Gujarat because he knew that the BJP leadership in the state is not uh, exciting enough for the voters right. that they will go for that leadership and he can leave Gujarat to them. Mm. And in the last election, it was yet again proved that Narendra Modi is a critical factor and that's what is expected in the future. Bhupen Patel in the shadow of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Well, uh, of course, uh, as much as Bhupendra Patel has the responsibility to shape up the cabinet and of course lead the party to 2022 polls, it appears that now he's a man that the Delhi circles have picked. That's, that's uh, precisely what our reporters on ground say, that he's been very carefully chosen uh, to take orders well and lead the party as per directions given to him. Now, let me cut across to Bhupendra Patel. Right after he was announced as the Chief Minister, here's what he said speaking to the media, of course, followed by Vijay Rupani and a few others who commented on the same. Let's take a listen. I first of all, Manya Narendra Bhai, Manya Nadda Ji and Amit Bhai Saha Sahib I want to believe in my heart and I want to believe in Gujarat Pradesh 
सभी वरिष्ठ नेता मान्य सी आर पाटिल साहब और हमारे विजय भाई साहब की टीम का सब का मैं तहे दिल से धन्यवाद मानता हूँ मेरे पर जो विश्वास रखा है वो विश्वास को बिना टूटे हुए विकास के जो काम बाकी है वो आगे बढ़ाएंगे भारतीय जनता पार्टी हमारे शीर्ष नेतृत्व ने ये जो निर्णय लिया है भूपेंद्र भाई सक्षम है और आने वाले चुनाव उनके नेतृत्व में अवश्य भारतीय जनता पार्टी अच्छी तरह से जीतेगी ये हमें सबको पूर्ण विश्वास है भूपेंद्र पटेल ऐसे कार्यकर्ता श्री भूपेंद्र रजनीकांत पटेल It is time not to remove CM. It is time to remove PM, because of whom we had suffered the first and the second wave of the coronavirus. So when you had failed in economy, in jobs, in vaccination, then for, it is time to get the new prime minister rather than the new chief ministers of the various states. All right. Now I'm going to take you through the pros and cons of Bhupendra Patel, who's now been appointed as the Chief Minister of Gujarat. Let's take you through some of the strengths that he holds that will really benefit the BJP at this point. Of course, uh, the strengths are that uh, he has faith of the BJP top brass. We're looking at the top brass uh, reposing enough uh, trust in Bhupendra Patel. Thinking that he is the right man, they've already given him this post. Now we're also looking at. Bhupendra Patel as one of the most influential Patidar faces, at least even if he wasn't so far, the fact that he's elevated to the Chief Minister now will make him the face of the Patidar community for the BJP in Gujarat. And then we are looking at his good ties, his, uh, uh, you know, his connections with the business community because he himself is a businessman. Uh, he has had some good ties with the business community which extensively uh, dominates within the Patindar, Patindar community itself. They are one of the largest business communities in Gujarat. Here we are looking at, of course, Bhupendra Patel now being a strong aide of BJP veteran Anandi Ben, who is a former chief minister and that appears has also given him that kind of boost uh, to be elevated to the chief minister's post. We're looking at now some of the weaknesses. Let, let me take you through, of course, uh, before that, here we know that he has no controversies, he's got quite a clean image. Now, let me take you through the weaknesses. He's, uh, you know, a relative greenhorn, um, of course, a first-time MLA who's seen as inexperienced and that's that's precisely what uh, many of them will look at it as a man with only one term as an elected representative might not have the kind of in, uh, the influence impact experience that uh, he should be holding for a chief minister uh, so here yeah, lack of experience could be something that will really weaken his prospects uh, to be leading the party well as expected and then you're looking at opportunities now of course Bhupendra's appointment as a chief minister can help preserve the BJP's original citadel which is of course the Patidar Patel community a huge uh, vote bank that they hold now, it can also help the BJP woo back the Patidars. Uh, remember, in 2017, a massive agitation by the Patidars cost the BJP uh, a significant amount of seats at that point of time. They lost a good number of seats to the hands of the Congress because of the Patidar agitation. So, BJP's 20-year incumbency, 20 years of incumbency possibly um, will, will maybe continue. They could fight anti-incumbency if they please the Patidar community the right way. So, we're looking at threat here, Patidar community aspirations. Remember, we're already looking at a good number of Patels who are already within the Gujarat cabinet and uh, many MLAs who are already within the BJP in Gujarat. It just might, uh, of course, have uh, many more than, uh, you know, as the Patidar community aspirations are quite high, we already see. Now, let me cut across India Today's exclusive uh, conversation. Spoke to Bhupendra Patel's son, Anuj Patel, over his father's elevation as the Chief Minister of Gujarat. Let's take a listen. Anuj Ji, what do you say about your father's name in Gujarat? It's very good to see that your father's name is Gujarat. It's very good to see that your father's name is Gujarat. And the Bharati Jandiya Party has also shown the trust. 
उससे उसमें आगे बढ़ेंगे और जो जनता लक्षी कार्य है उसमें आगे बढ़ेंगे और पी एम मोदी साहब ने जो भी विश्वास दिखाया है उसमें खड़े उतरेंगे पापा आपको लगता है कि उनके चेहरे पे जीत हासिल होगी बाईस में हाँ ज़रूर होगी कितने आश्वस्त हैं वो अभी कुछ नहीं कह सकते <laughs> और मैं उसमें ज़्यादा नहीं बोलूँगा और थैंक यू परिवार क्या कहता है बहुत आनंद है परिवार में <laughs> खुशी की लहर है परिवार में सोचा था कभी नहीं सोचा नहीं था आज सुबह भी नहीं सोचा था लेकिन बहुत खुशी है आनंद है एज ए सी बन के फिर फादर सी बन गए ठीक है और थैंक यू Now a day after a shocker exit by Vijay Rupani Gujarat gets its new chief minister Bhupendra Patel a name that was not among the top contenders for the post so who exactly is the new chief minister here's all that we need to know this is without a doubt a surprise pick here for Gujarat's top post Bhupendra Patel is a 57 year old who belongs to the Patidar community that forms a massive vote bank in Gujarat it also seen as a comeback for the patel chief minister in the state bhupendra patel contested elections from gathlodia in gujarat the year 2017 from where he won with a whopping majority the first time mla is known to be a close heir of former chief minister anandi ben patel sources say he was a pick by the top bjp leadership in delhi the outgoing chief minister vijay rupani formally proposed his name as well the otherwise low profile mla was also the ex chairman of ahmedabad urban development authority and played a part in municipal politics he is also known to enjoy good relations with the gujarat business community a loyal vote bank for the bjp i am your mukhya mantri shri nitin bhai patel sir and mantri shri rajesh Now let me take you through the Patel factor here in Gujarat. Of course, we know that the Patidar, the Patels, uh, hold a significant amount of clout in Gujarat. The Patels form about 12 to 14 percent of the population in Gujarat. They hold sway in 70 to 80 of the 182 seats in Gujarat. Second largest vote bank as well is what they are seen as. And in fact, the Patel community, particularly, has long been BJP's loyal vote bank. so patels uh, in fact they literally pushed bjp to power in the 1990s patels uh, literally backed the bjp once in fact they were at one point congress loyalists and then in the 80s they shift uh, shifted their allegiance with the bjp and eventually gave the bjp a boost they are looking at P the patel community a split on class and urban rural divide so that's where uh, it's going to be a little bit of a uh, tricky ground for the bjp the patidar anger gave the bjp quite a scare in 2017 where they seem to have lost quite a significant amount of rural and uh, tribal votes we're also looking at many influential patel leaders currently in the bjp of course uh, with as much support that they get from the patel community we're looking at several patel leaders who've already been um, given ministries and they hold a significant clout within the bjp leadership in gujarat